get into the highlights now. This is a Houston team that we knew we were going to have to shut down, and early on, we didn't. But we had uh, any. Well, the thing is, we have the play stopped. This is a third down play. It's a big play. But you don't see in this video right here, their safety man that's supposed to cover this slip flat on the ground. And uh, we have two slippages, and, and the man who was supposed to cover him, when you just slip on the ground, it's hard, kind of hard to get over there to it. And uh, so right away they scored, and certainly that put them in there, and they were trying to quieten the crowd down more than anything else, Jerry. Try to take control in, in that respect because I believe A&M really hurt them with their crowd. They did, and this is a play we opened with, which is a new play. We felt like we had to put the ball, Quinn, in this ball game was going to have to run the ball more than he has in any other ball game just so it would give us a, a completely balanced uh, attack on everything, whatever they're giving us. And we come right back after the one play, and uh, we answer with a throw, great throw by Quinn. And Derek just runs away, doesn't let him tackle him, and he just runs away. It's a lot of mercy. I looked up here in a short time, and it's, it's a tie game. You're talking about uh, Houston trying to take the crowd out. This one put the crowd right back in it the game. Did. It did. It, it just negated what they had tried to do right here, and Derek was able to keep his uh, feet and, and get in the end zone. So proud of him, the way he's worked on his concentration and catching the ball. All that time he spent this uh, spring coming out and improving his catching ability. And I think Derek's the final receiver there is in the nation. So two and a half minutes gone out of the first quarter. We're tied up 7-7. Well, it, it's early. <laughs> But here is Chuck Weatherspoon, their little uh, fullback, who is so tough. And really, he's the only one that really burned us badly uh, throughout the game. We, we shut down a lot of the other things pretty much the way we wanted to, but we just didn't do him. And this is one right here. We're trying to get the ball. Mick's got his hands. Of course, he has a broken problem in his uh, hand anyway, and his hand's all taped up, and he just couldn't get his fingers on it. We needed to do something there, and we just missed the tackle, and he gets in for a score. So it's been... Uh, explosive already, just like watching the 4th of July or something out there. And, and uh, so now we move right back down the field, though. We don't slow up. Here's a great catch on a critical down to Tim Horton. Did that time after time last night. Third down, second down, and short, we were able to make the big play to keep the drive going. We did a, a great job. All, Jack Crow and all of our offensive coaches did a tremendous job. And here is tremendous blocking. Great running by Barry Foster. Barry has one of his finest days ever as a Razorback, Jerry. And I just couldn't have been proud of the way our line continued to dominate in, in a team that was the number one defense in our conference. You're talking about Barry. Both Barry and James had over 100 yards rushing last night. Quinn had a great night rushing, almost 80 yards on the ground for him. Quinn had, uh, you know, we're glad that he had the third highest total offensive total of any quarterback ever, and uh, and it's a real real credit to him and that he has a kind of game running and throwing. Here's a little pass. They come and they get a little crack play on the thing, and uh, they bring that thing back because they block it a little bit illegally. So they come back and we get them backed up. But here we got great pressure trying to come, and he's got to dump a two-yard pass out when they had first and 25. Hey, we're going to let them have some of the short ones. We just don't want them to get the quick scores. That's how you score 95 points on people, Jerry. That's right. We get the ball back now and late in the first quarter trying to make something happen. And here we get a good uh, a block, and Quinn is able to scramble out right here. It looks like there's nothing, and, and looks like we're going to lose yardage. And somehow, that's what your all-conference quarterback does right there. And, and everybody's talking about stats, but effectiveness is the main thing. And we have, this conference has great quarterbacks on every team, Jerry. Here's James Rice with another great run. Just one of his many runs on the night. Great second effort, you know, right there. He gets by one man with an arm tackle, and he's able to make it. And that's what we're looking for. And I think James said it. He's got the ball. It's by midway through the quarter where we're going to pick it up. Houston's got the ball on its own 11. Well, it's good. It's a good place for them to have the ball. We're hoping we can make something happen and maybe try to get a turnover. You'll see, everybody watch the game. We, we went with six defensive backs in the ball game, and uh, it, it created Big Mac attack. That's the way to go, Mac. Kenzie Phillips knocks that ball down. Here's our main cheerleader, Curtis Johnson. Curtis did a great job keeping the crowd uh, going the whole game. And, and here we're trying to get three-man rush. And uh, we forced something. There's Aaron Jackson playing as a defensive end, even the ball game. So we could put some pressure on them. We, we kind of changed. And right, it, it's kind of a fun ball game, Jerry. It really is. And here we go getting into another scoring drive. Makes we need one more right here. Here is Quinn. I mean, they stop our basic play. And look at him reverse field right here. 
and, and just run by him. I don't know how he got by that one guy. He just kind of went by him in the night, like two ships passing each other. I want you to tell us, is this play here a planned play? or? Sure, Jerry, sure, Jerry. We plan all of them right like this. Here he goes down, and he's looking for him. He's not there. He just throws it back. But basically what we have is we, we had just hit this pass earlier, as you know, and we hit the ball to Tim, and now he wasn't open when he went. So immediately if they're not open, they automatically go deep. That's our scramble. We have scramble rules in case the, the, the basic route breaks down, you, you scramble. Here's Quinn finding that end zone. That's what he can do is get them all strung out there to get in. And uh, we had to kick at our extra points. Our field goal was not as good, but I thought Todd came on as the game went on and started getting back into the groove, uh, w which he needs to do. Here's a little option play, and really we this is not an option. It's strictly a sweep. And we get chopped down over there. We shouldn't do that. Don't get chopped down. Here's the pressure we got coming. We're trying to do it, and they throwing the ball deep. And you can't see again in here, but uh, we slip again. And this is why we changed shoes at halftime, Jerry, to get put on our rain shoes. Even though it wasn't raining, we just needed more, better traction. And, uh, and that hurt us on both of them. Here's another big play trying to move the ball down the field right before halftime. And we do. We, with, with less than two minutes, you know, we move the ball down with a chance to score. And uh, that's what we're trying to do. We, we felt we'd keep them off guard. Look at this big, big play. Look at Baldwin say great protection. Golly, it's great protection. It sets up. We needed to have points on the board the way it was. Todd drills it. No time remaining, and it's 21 to 17. And holy Toledo, who would have ever thought that? Really, and when we come back, you're going to see anything can happen as we continue in the third quarter. More great plays, players, and the greatest fans after this timeout. get into third quarter action coach we got the kickoff unable to do anything so Houston's going to get the ball back and try to make something happen two big plays in the game we put these in the highlights we want to share with everybody for this main reason the guy who gave us the most fits last night was the dead gum fullback and Witherspoon had a great play watch this right here he just outruns us here and we just don't pick him up and and he just makes a big play gets down in scoring position and uh, they pop a couple on us and then probably as big a play came when we've been blitzing we blitzed a lot more last night and hey is either feast or famine we either got him or we didn't come on Kirk Kirk gets him knocks the ball loose Chad Rowland's got it Kirk's got it we end up with the ball so they get no points out of it at a time when they're ahead uh, to start the second half could have been a big difference in the game, Jerry. Andre in postgame said that this probably was the turning point of the game for them. Probably was. I mean, they could have gone up on us right there 10 points easily, 11 points on us at that point, and they come up with nothing, and then we take the ball. But Kirk Collins made a great play, and, of course, he's from that area, Lamarck, Texas, played down there. It was a great defensive back for him, punt returner. I know he's fired up. He played well last year against Houston, too. We come back with an option play. Look at uh, Cedric Fillmore. Great blocking. And James running with a little extra uh, gas in him. Boy, I'm telling you, he really had it on. And he was fired up to play, emotionally ready. The whole team was. And, and, and it's good, a joy to watch. And then Derek comes right back with a tremendous reverse. Great blocking. Great by. Look at Todd Gifford. Todd, he just went by you. And I'm telling you, what, he talked about a ship passing in the dark. He, he overpassed you in the dark. You look like you're in a skiff, and he was in a motorboat going by there, but you trying anyway. And now Quinn comes up again. He finds that end zone just as he can do and makes you miss you. So instead of them getting seven, we end up with us getting seven driving the length of the field. A lot of noise from the crowd again. The band got them stirred up. The Hogs play right here. Aaron Another Jackson makes a blitz. great Another play. Another big blitz, and Aaron Jackson playing a defensive end. So you see our two little things and these were new they did not have these ready and we almost get a chance at Oscar again Kirk Collin of course he drilled that ball right there and he didn't pick it out but we got our hands up we knew this was going to happen some of the time but some great defensive efforts in the ball game like that and just to try to make them to stop them this is fourth and one 
on our 38-yard line as big a play as there was, too, Jerry. You did that twice last night, successful both times. That's good if you don't do it. You need to be successful. But that one on, uh, was a big play. We come right back with it and run the option again. And look at James getting another eight or nine yards. Tremendous. Having his best game. Golly. And that's going to set up one of the biggest plays of the game for Arkansas. We're going to take a look at that when we come back. All right, as we head into the fourth quarter, Razor... As we get into the fourth quarter now, Houston's on top, 28-24, but coach is not going to stay that way long. <laughs> nope. In the fourth quarter, we got all the action highlights here. We saved them all for this because this is where the game is all on the line. We start off with coming off of our option pass and look at Derek Russell. Holy Toledo. Way to go, Derek. So little, little Rock Central Flash has done it again. Almost looks like a pass that we had right at the beginning of the game. Well, it looks very similar to it because it is very similar to it. But we get great blocking. Look at Billy Winston staying on there. And, and Derek and Quinn both make a great adjustment. The cornerback had this play uh, played well inside of him. And Derek went around outside of him then. And Quinn gave enough air to the ball and let Derek run into it, under it. And that's what you have to do on a deep pass. All right, that's the first play of the fourth quarter. And Arkansas is on top now, 31 to 28. Boy, you can hear the crowd going right now. You know it. They know it's a fourth quarter. We know we've got to go win it. And uh, they come back and they have a good drive. They make a couple of things. We didn't exactly just stop them for no yardage. And their kicker does a great job. Barely clears the crossbar, but does make it, and that ties the game. 31-31. We tell our kicking team now is to get a chance to make the biggest play, and our kicking team did a good job of kickoff coverage and everything. Here's James Rouse again, going inside, going outside. Right when the score's tied, he makes the big, big first down to get us going again. And uh, each drive in each series, you make that first first down, it just lubricates you, and everybody knows something good's going to happen. This was a great adjustment at halftime our coaches made uh, on an option play, and, and it was a, a big adjustment because we made good yardage off of it in the second half. All right, now we've got a second and six here, and watch Barry Foster. Here's Barry. This is vintage Barry Foster here. Boom. Look at that move on him. Golly, that's a great spin-out move. Right at the time we were going for the first down, and let's look at it again. Great blocking inside. Look at on the guard. Look at the linebacker, Jim Mabry, the senior. Good blocking by Billy Winston. And then watch this move here by Barry. Good gracious, he used to learn that down at Arthur Murray Dance Studio. Good job, Barry. The strength he's got, he holds on the ball because he's strong as a bull and he pulls that unstuck he's a, a sled we have down there. We get to pull that every week and they just love it. That's going to set up Quinn Grovey a couple of plays later. He's going to, or pardon me, James Rouse is going to be able to take it in. Well, this is the option play we just had run earlier here, and they try to gamble and go inside. You see how the cornerback tried to go inside on him, and uh, and James gets it in the end zone. He started this drive, ended the drive, so we're up now, 38-31. Houston's got the ball. They're not going to be able to do anything. They'll move a couple we, of plays. We felt like right now if we could just hold them one series right here, if we could hold them with no and make them punt, we'd get the ball back and get up on two scores, we'd win the game. Told our defense just to find a way, do something right here, knock the ball down, find some second effort right there on our protection, whatever you have to do, and they don't. We have somebody there waiting to hit him in the front, and they drop it on third down, the big play. Go Hogs. We get the ball back. We're leading by seven. We got to control. This is where that ball control and that time possession does come into play. Another great play by James Rell. We don't have that one outside linebacker block, and he just jukes him and uses his speed that's James, what James can do at his very best. We wanted to show it to you again. Great blocking. Just sets up a delayed draw. And look at here. He fakes in. He goes outside. He uses his outstanding speed and just takes off. You see him running with just a different intensity and just a big, big play to put us on their side of the 50. Right now we're getting close, and we know if we can get at least a field goal where we can get up where two scores it'll take to beat us, that put a lot of pressure on them that they hadn't had in the fourth quarter. Great throw on a critical down, and watch Derrick take off there and hit and attack. 
they, you know, even in the uh, A&M ball game, it was a four-point game, 17 to 13 late in the fourth quarter, and one drive would have scored, and they, you know, they always felt they could win. But we could get up on them, too. We thought it really put us in a big, big advantage and cut them out of their complete running game. Third down play. How about that for a big one? Not only would that make them have to score two touchdowns, but we took this ball with 8.33 left in the game and used 5.25 on this drive. This is symbolic of what we did last year, and this is what you had to do. And we felt like we could wear them down there, and our line just was in condition. Sean Floyd's in there. Uh, his wife had a baby and was so happy for her and for them. And, boy, that he was able to get back and help us. Get in there, Quinn. And right there, just like last year when we made that long 95-yard drive, I felt like that would win the ball game. Houston has one last chance here. Weatherspoon, I'm sorry, Andre Ware gets outside. Just gets away. He from gets away, tackle. and we're trying to keep him in bounds. Right there, why he throws the ball down, I don't know, because that's a that's a penalty, and you shouldn't do that. And hurts him. So right now, at the end here, we have a couple of folks that are bunged up. Aaron's bunged up. See, we're short a man because we had an injury, and we try to just get somebody out on the field, and he still throws it and hits the pass, and they score and get the two point and three seconds to go. We didn't care. The game's over. We won the game, Jerry. All right, so fantastic football game. We're still in the Cotton Bowl hunt, still in the conference championship hunt. Next week we've got Rice. Next week we got Rice. We look forward to seeing Fred. Man.